Finding affordable housing is tough. Add a pet to the mix and it's a whole different issue. It's such a problem that some are turning to living in their cars to keep their animals due to a lack of pet-friendly housing. Bryce Moore reports. Sal Padilla raised 10-year-old Pua since she was five weeks old. He received a 45-day notice to leave his current home and two days before being evicted, lined up a pet-friendly rental. At the last minute, the landlord decided she didn't want a dog anymore, and she tore up the lease and gave my deposit back. So this puts me right where I'm at right now, in my car with my dog. Here she is. Finding affordable, pet-friendly housing isn't just a Maui issue. According to Hawaii Life Realty, fewer than 10% of Oahu rental units that are under 2,500 a month are dog-friendly. For units less than 1,500, it's less than 5%. A lot of landlords don't want to have pets because they think it's going to make the place smell or it's going to reduce the value of the place. But at the end of the day, it ends up disproportionately hurting families that would like to have their part of their family come with them where they live. Uh, a roller coaster, man. I don't want to say goodbye to my best friend. So I just, you know, I just hope she, she realizes how much I love her and what I would do for her if she is there. Maui Humane Society says up to 40% of their surrendered animals are due to lack of pet-friendly housing. Since Hawaii landlords can evict for any reason with 45 days notice, it's important to have open communication. Maui Humane says they've seen success in striking a pet contract. A lot of these contracts uh, will advise that, you know, the animal will stay with uh, good behavior, that the pet owner will clean up after their pet. And if there are any issues that that conversation will be had, you know, with the, the renter and the landlord, uh, you know, before any notice is, is given. And until Padilla finds a permanent pet friendly home, there could be a silver lining for Pua. This is not an act of selfishness. This is an act of desperation. And, um, you know, there are great families who are reaching out to me saying, uh, you know, we could watch her, we could foster her. So I'm going to reconnect with those people tonight and hopefully um, have a family lined up for her. Bryce Moore, KHON 2 News, working for Hawaii.